Hello. We were Hello. just talking. I know, we were just talking. We were having a, a Friday chat about the craziness that is about to be your weekend. Yes. Yes. Craziness. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <sighs> so we have easy graphics joining us. Hopefully it's not as well. Either way, Actually. we're here. We're going to we're going to strategize your weekend, your weekend survival. <laughs> Yes. Allie surviving. needs some Allie needs Allie needs some survival tips for the weekend. Hello, Morning Star. We're so glad everyone Hello. is with us. Yes. Um, yep, we're gonna need some survival tips for yep. poor Allie. We couldn't yep. write on Saturday morning, which is fine because I had some other things happening too. And you have some great news because your husband is doing some new work. So that's good. So we're writing today on a Friday, which I like I yeah. like writing Friday afternoons. Kind of a good, yeah, yeah. you know, a good send off to the weekend. Finish up the week and get the weekend going. All right. So, Allie, tell everybody your news. How about your weekend ahead? Two full days of children. Two full <laughs> days of children. My children all to myself for two whole days. Do I sound happy? Embrace the motherhood moment. Embrace the children. Embrace, embrace it. Yes, embrace it. Yeah. Yeah. My delightful nearly three-year-old who likes to destroy things and smash things and throw things and hit things and scream. <laughs> he is, um, he is cool adorable. Days, 24 hours. No, that's 48 hours, easy graphics. Yeah. <laughs> unless you're unless you're not yeah he says sorry for you i was gonna say unless you're not counting the sleep because yeah. she does have that we did come up with that strategy to to yeah. um no naps put them to bed early yeah that's a Fingers good one mm -hmm. and she has her gin ready so she's good there <laughs> so ready she's she's got the strategy of of muddy go out and play in the mud and the rain all weekend She's got her mops ready to mop up the mud after. So many mops and so towels. Many, so many mops. Yeah. Baskets of towels. Do you reckon if I just, every time they come in, if I just kind of upends another basket of towels on their heads? Just... <laughs> yeah, really. You, I, think, I think you just lay a towel on the floor, strip them down, and if it's wet, stick it all in the dryer and just let them run amok around the house because an hour later they'll be putting it all back in again and going outside. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds about right. <laughs> oh, my easy graphics is uh, recommending babysitting by electronics. <laughs> I mean, I thought it it works. At the time, just yeah. not that interested. Like we have the TV on playing his cartoons and sometimes he'll sit for a while and watch them. And then most of the time, Destroying, smashing, throwing, hitting, all of those things. He's an energetic yeah. child, yeah. yeah. He is, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, the eldest was much easier. He was into the tablet and the games much earlier. Is Do you have a basement that they can no. run amok in? Okay. Mm -hmm. How about... No, we have yeah, go ahead. just the, the living room, pretty mm -hmm. much, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the back room. But we try not to let the toddler into the back room because he likes to climb on all the desks and grab all the things that have been safely put out of his reach. <laughs> Sounds like you need the timeout chair. Do you know? I need the dog cage. <laughs> Allie, no, no. I have a dog cage. It's adorable because he crawls into it and sits there. <laughs> put the pillows, pretend it, oh, actually it could kind of be a fort. Just put like pillows in it and blankets and his stuffed animals and put some books in there and say, this is his calm time. And, you know, maybe a sheet over it and a little light and just- It, it has a blanket over it. Yeah. Um, yeah, like a little the, cave. He's he's not super into books, except when they've got little fold down flaps that he can rip out with great oh. energy. Um, hmm. Mm. Hmm. He, he, Ali. You yelled at me for disrespecting a book. <laughs> do you oh, not remember really? that yeah. in the past? I, <laughs> so I, you I, need to he, do the same with him. He didn't disrespect the book around me. Oh. He waited till I was upstairs working, and then he ripped all the 
pull the flaps out with mm -hmm. daddy there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Yeah. I would love to do outdoor activities, easy graphics, but the weather is looking terrible and nothing is open here. So the park is the best we could accomplish. I like your, your thought though, put the, you know, the winter pants on them and let them scoot down the slide, yeah. you know, anything to do outdoors. Yeah, we might do yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. Do you play hide and seek around the house? I used to do that a lot with my kids. We haven't done inside. that for a while. Yeah. We yeah, play that inside. That's at least a half an hour of activity. And then yeah. <laughs> Running, drawing. Screaming. Do you do any finger painting or anything that's tactile for him? It sounds like he's he likes to, like you say, he rips stuff or, you know, he's tactile. Like give him give him some paint and mush around. Even pudding. We've done that with pudding and wax paper and use his fingers and Painter. And yeah, it's messy, but that's okay because the, the painting's a half an hour, a bath is an hour. Does he play in the bathtub? He might have three baths, three baths a day, but that's bath okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But tactile, you know. Can I used I to take. Them, you can give them paint in the bath. Yeah, there's water. So painting. you can like paint yeah. the walls and yeah. stuff. And then yeah. you can just wash totally. them all off. Oh. Totally. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I used to take uh, like cotton balls and a bucket and a spoon and, you know, dump, dump the balls out and put them in. And I don't know. Oh, good. Jocelyn Carter has arrived. Yay. Yay. Yes, baking together. Yes, make brownies, cookies. This is a weekend to go off the diet. Just bake. Bake with he them. so much for the baking. <laughs> he does like licking the balls out afterwards because I baked a cake today and he loves that. He doesn't so stand there with you and him. put stuff in? No? We, huh. See, we could get him stuff to bring him up higher to the side, but then he grabs all the things that are on the side that babies shouldn't have. So it just, yeah. Well, I always say, A, they're washable. B, you can't make a mess that we can't clean up and just have at it. Unless they're knives. Of course, you don't want them to be touching knives. But. Sharp knives and stuff. And glasses that he probably Oh, you know what? Sometimes for. I would bring I bring the ingredients over to like the dining room table or you know another table, and we would do it over there instead of the island. You know that kind of a thing. If you have, I might have to try. Stuff. That. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. grab the ingredients and go over there and sit them on a chair and you know have them put stuff in. I don't know, something like that. Did, did the brownies come out nicely when the children helped make them? Of course, they're edible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we ate them. Well, we had washed our hands, you know, clearly before we started. But yeah, yeah. Cool. They lived at the end licking the bowl, you know, at the end. So I mean, who doesn't? That's the best Then you bet, get right? those cute pictures of them with their shirts off and the chef's hat on and the apron on and they're licking your hands you know, <laughs> when they're little. Yeah, yeah. This is a good picture taking weekend, Dali. Think of it that way. All the adventures. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm guys, this is what Allie's dealing with, trying to get ideas for how to survive the weekend with her three-year-old. And you do have a nine-year-old. We hardly talk about him, but he's clearly going to be self-sufficient for the weekend. <laughs> yeah. He said um, he didn't want to be my co-parent. He just wants to be a child. I thought that was mean. <laughs> it's probably true, though. You don't want to give him a complex or anything, you know. That just... No, you're right. That would be wrong. <laughs> Allie, damn it. <laughs> I really was hoping. <laughs> uh, what's it say? Sounds like a fun, packed, exciting weekend. Yes, Allie. Yes, here. that's what um, it sounds like. Next week, whenever we're writing, so you didn't look at the rest of the dates yet. Tuesday or Monday, whatever. Monday, okay. Yeah. Um, next week, we will hear all kinds of great stories from you, I'm sure. And yeah. you'll be happy and you'll be like, this is the kind of weekend it's as a so mother awful. that, you know, 10 years right. from now, I'll be wishing I had that weekend again. You know? yeah. That's that's quite probably true because, yeah. you know, by that distance, you've forgotten the pain like, 23 hours of it and you just yeah. remember the really good hour, yeah. five minute photos. <laughs> yeah, really. That's true. Oh, too fun. Okay, so we're going to do, I, I actually changed it and didn't tell you, Allie. Oh, yeah. I changed it to two 25-minute sprints. How's that sound? Okay. 
Okay, yeah, sorry. Right. I, I meant to tell you. I just <laughs> forgot. But I'm also open. If everybody wants to do three, we'll do three. I don't care. I just, I was like, oh, it's Friday. I don't know. Let's just go 225. Change things up a little bit. Anyway, whatever. Whatever anybody wants to. Okay. So what are you working on, Allie? And what is everyone else working on? So go ahead, Allie. All right. Other than I'm your list of torture for, for kids, what are you playing? <laughs> no, no, it's torture for grown-ups. The kids will be fine. They will have a great weekend. <laughs> okay, so you're working on Project X. Is Project there, X, yeah. Is there anything you can share about Project X yet? I'm about to get thoroughly rabbit holed about the um, political system. I think. Oh, and, and it's fantasy, so you're making all this up as you go. Yeah, so nice. I'm going to try not to. Uh, I'm going to try to keep writing and not spend too much time worrying about that. Yeah, rabbit hole. Put lots of things in capitals. Look this up later. Look this up later. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but it's fantasy, and you're making it up. So, what kind of rabbit hole do you think you'd go down? Oh, just different different forms of political systems and and the effects they have and. Uh -huh. I what see. might work and might not and things okay okay i love it morning star says that's exciting easy graphics says working on final edits for two blog articles to get on his website he also easy graphics i think you have something you want people to have a look over you're welcome to post that link in the in there so people can look and give you feedback um morning star tell us what you're working on i don't think we've heard from you i know you're in the midst of your dragon book and Jocelyn Carter yes. work in progress. I can't read it on that little thing. Let's Supernatural sci-fi fantasy. Yeah, I don't know if I shared that on. Yes. Oh, that's nice. Nice, nice. Very cool. I'm um I switch gears briefly to start editing my billionaire book. So I'm 86 pages in to the 216 pages. Well, I'm 95 pages now. So, uh, and I've been enjoying it going back. It's third person. So it is, you know, interesting to see since I've been heavily into first lately. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, so I've been doing that. So that's what I'm going to work on. I'm going to hope to finish it today and tomorrow. Um, How long did you leave it before you went back to it? I haven't looked at it since the end of January. Oh, wow. Because okay. I well, middle January, I think, because I think January 10th, I sent it off to the editor. So, yeah, so it's been nice to go back and give my brain a break from the other things. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so let's get to work. Shall we uh, do our first 25 minute sprint? Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. All right, everyone. We'll see you on the other side. Let us know how you do. <laughs> let's see. I'm going to put.
oh, it might be helpful if I add his back. <laughs> Stop the banner. There we go. Allie. Allie can come back. There we go. Oh. How did everyone do? Tell us. Tell us how it's going. I got my food delivered to me just as we started. <gasps> ah, well, that'll make up for the weekend. Yeah. You won't have anyone bringing you food or coffee all weekend long. I won't. I'm going to have to make dinner for the children. And I know. Another thing my, to add to the list. My husband's like, what are you going to make for them? And I'm like, make? I'm just going to leave them to scavenge. I mean, that's <laughs> what we do, right? <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm well, not, I, honestly, have asked, I will cook for them, I promise. Yeah, you won't let them starve. Yeah, you could have enough, like, finger food, you know? Little things that they could grab, a little snack drawer that they that that way they won't bug you too much. Yeah. Do you oh, have there's, that there's, or no? Yeah, there's stuff I can grab. Well, there's stuff the eldest can grab, and he gets to feed the little one every time he gets something out of the fridge. He has to give something to Charlie. That's, <laughs> that's the rule. That's the unspoken brother rule, huh? Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. You could make your little one a little lunch, you know, make it a little box make it fun hey it's lunchtime let's get out our lunch you know you could pre-make it tonight for the next couple days no <laughs> just do it in the day uh okay i asked um i asked jocelyn because uh, she i have never actually read any paranormal have you read a, a paranormal what did jocelyn say she writes paranormal supernatural sci-fi fantasy Superna i know have you read any What's What's the difference between supernatural and paranormal? I know, Jocelyn, you must educate us. Tell us, tell us. Uh, let's see. The Wizard of Earthsea by Ursula Le Guin. I'm that's, trying not that. That's fantasy, isn't it? Supernatural sci-fi fantasy is her favorite genre. So I asked if uh, what would a newbie, what would she recommend? And she said, uh, Wizard of Earthsea by Ursula Le Guin. I've um, heard of that a lot. I've still not read it. A Wrinkle in Time is another one. So A Wrinkle in Time, was that the movie just made with Oprah? Because if it was, I did see that movie. I mean, I probably have watched movies in this genre. I just have never read anything in this genre. So let's see here. Um, you guys are going too fast for me to get through. Yeah, Wrinkle in Time. Uh, so let me know if that was the Oprah movie. Um, let's see, Greg is in here, I guess. Hi, Greg. Hi, Greg. Greg Inc., we haven't seen you in a while, so thanks for being back. Working on chapter three of the novel, Making Final Touches, before sending it to the proofreader. Ooh. Uh, well, you are far along, that's great. Let's see, Jocelyn says chicken nuggets and fries. We're call oh, I thought you meant you're suggesting to Allie that she eat her children <laughs> chicken nuggets and fries, which, hey, you know, you could you could get the frozen stuff and cook it up. No, that's what they had for dinner today. Let's see. Uh, Easy Graphics got sidetracked. Oh, you guys, come on. Focus. <laughs> Focus. Completely unrelated to writing or editing. Yes, Wrinkle in Time book as well as the movie. Okay, so it must be the Oprah Winfrey movie. Yes, I have seen that then. That was good. I, I I think I did know it was a book. I just haven't read it. Um, okay. So uh, uh, a lot of my reading lately has been in support of my seventh grade juror um, having to read having to read books. He read um, oh god, of course I forget the name of it. It was a book about an elephant. So we just got done okay. with that one. And then Wonder. He's also reading Wonder. Both his English class and his reading class have novels to read. At the same time, oh. all the time, all but not year. the same novel. Not the same novel. No, oh. we did we did the War Horse, which was really good. And I love that movie, so we were able to watch the movie as well. Um, there's been a few of them this year, but I love Wonder and Wonder. The movie was really good. Wonder the book is good, and they're reading that right now. Let's see. Jocelyn Carter says supernatural fantasy can involve magic and supernatural beings like angels, demons, spiritual warfare, and yes, the movie Over and was the same. Okay. Yes. All right. So I'm going to go check out that first book that Jocelyn mentioned. We'll, we'll see if I can get hooked it's on It's highly that. recommended, the first one that she mentioned. You read it I'll too? Try to it. I haven't read it yet, but I've, if, if you look up um, like top 10 fantasy books, it, it's That's in the it. lists. 
in like mm -hmm. everywhere. So very good, very cool. All right, so let's get back on track with how we did. We heard from uh, Greg Inc. how he did. How did everyone else do? Easy Graphics got distracted. We heard that. How'd you do, Allie? I did 283 words while eating my dinner. Nice, very nice. I went from uh, 86, page 86 to page 101 in my editing. So out of 216. Yeah, good job. So I really, really want to finish this by tomorrow. Um, awesome. How about anyone else? Jocelyn, would you do? Would you end up doing? Uh, Morningstar, would you do? Let us know, everyone. So, uh, yeah, so we want to um, help Allie out with how to keep her toddler busy this weekend because she'll be 48 hours on a mommy sprint. You'll be on a mommy yes. sprint this weekend. You have your writing sprint yes. right now, but you have a whole week in a mommy That's sprint. That's not like a, a marathon, right? Marathon, not a sprint. It's Mommy like a Mara. war. It's a war, not a battle. <laughs> yeah, really. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so yeah. I, what what can she do to keep her toddler busy and keep her sanity? In you, lockdown, when we're not allowed to see anyone. Not allowed to go anywhere. Not allowed to see anyone. You can go in the backyard, but it's going to be a rainy, mucky weekend in England this this weekend. Yeah. So she's got a it's lot of challenges. England, it's always rainy. <laughs> a lot of challenges, a lot of challenges. So, um, yeah, no dog. You don't have a dog or anything, right, to keep them entertained? Yeah, oh, you have a dog? dog? Oh. He's so scared of them. <laughs> of the toddler or the toddler's scared of the dog? Oh, the, the toddler's fine. The dog's terrified. Of the toddler, yeah. Yeah. And bulls. The dog's terrified of bulls. You ever met a dog that's scared of bulls? B O W L S or B U L L S? Like <laughs> ball, yeah, the ones you throw and catch. Uh, and balls. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So funny. I'm like, I can not understand which word you were saying. Sorry. Yeah. No, I've so never heard of a dog afraid of balls. That's weird. Right? Yeah. Yeah. That's her thing. Yeah. You're supposed to chase balls. Right? But no, my dog runs away and tries to climb up on the sofa behind me and sh shakes. He's like a massage chair all by himself. <laughs> That's funny. And what? How big is his dog? Or what? You know, what kind of? Oh, uh, he's um, whippet crossed with a spaniel. So oh. like, yeah, medium, that big. medium size. Yeah, skinny, skinny. He's got a whippet build. Does he? Are you able to throw anything and he'll fetch it, or like something no. else other than a ball, or he just isn't a fetcher? No, nah, he's pretty mm. rubbish. Hmm. Does your, does your son try to ride him like a pony? Not anymore. <laughs> no. Aw. Awesome. Yeah. Sometimes pets can be entertaining to little ones like that. But Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but he's just, the toddler's just a little bit too full on for our Yeah, animals. too much energy. Yeah. 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 How about sticker chart? You know, sticker charts work for me for my writing, you know, motivating me and stuff. Does he understand the concept of sticker chart? Hey, by Sunday night, you'll get this if you, you know. He, you I don't and, think he'd understand the concept of, um, look, you can have this, but not right now. Um, That's not going to go well because that would just yeah. be like, but I wouldn't now, but yeah. with less words. Yeah, toddlers don't do delayed gratification. Yeah. No. How about if instead of saying what he gets, you say you'll have a surprise. You'll have a surprise if you're good by Sunday and you get ten stickers over the next two days. No. Okay. Yeah, I don't understanding. <sighs> I'm trying, Allie. I'm trying to give you ideas. You are. You're trying really well. I know. You just have to play with them. You just have to, you know, put yourself with them for 48 hours and play with them. <gasps> Can anyone come up with some great games that I can play while lying down, napping? <laughs> the crawl all over mommy game. That's always fun. Oh, they do that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I was always yeah, the mommy on the floor with my with my boys. I loved it. I was never, never on the couch. I was always on the floor playing with them right there. Oh, I can back, imagine you doing that. I know. It's back when I was younger and had more energy. I can't wait for grandkids though. We went out to uh, lunch, when was it, Monday? No, Tuesday, I don't know, this week has been weird. We went out to lunch with his, with my husband's sister, with my sister-in-law, and she brought her grandson. Oh, so cute, you know. Well, he must be five now, because he's going to preschool. 
he has little glasses and his little buzz cut and he was he had his mask on he was so good he was so good and i got him to eat orange fries which i call them orange fries but they're uh sweet potato fries i love sweet potato oh, okay. fries they're healthy ish yes. <laughs> um, so i was like you should try this orange fry and i got him to try it. and she was so amazed because she's like he doesn't try anything he never you know he he's a picky eater but he ate them and he loved them and so she put her bowl next you know in between them and he was eating them up and i took photos and he said you show mommy later how you you know show our niece later that you got to eat orange fries you know <laughs> so, <laughs> so anyway, i was like I was watching my husband the whole time. He's like looking, he's like, you know, laughing and so I'm like, oh, it'd be so cute to have grandkids. How old's your eldest? So he'll be 16 on April 14th. So we have some time. It won't be a while. God willing, it'll be <laughs> another 10 years maybe before we have grandkids, yeah. 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 We don't, we don't want them, you know, if they have children when they're 18, I get it, okay. But, you know, rather than, <laughs> get their lives yeah. in order, you know, yeah. the apparent right way, you know, of having kids. Yeah. So, anyway, making Morningstar hungry. Yes. Orange fries. Go get you some. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love them. I think they're great. They're like crispy yeah. on the outside and soft and mushy on the inside. But anyway, I like, I like sweet potatoes. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's head into our second 25 minutes. I hope everyone's working. Let us know. And we're going to check back in in 25 minutes. This will be our final sprint for today. And we'll do a little yeah. checkup. Let's see. Morning Star. A couple more things. Uh, KFC and Popeyes. Oh, doesn't have Popeyes in the UK. Oh. No Popeyes. Yeah. What's we have Popeyes? one around here, but I don't think we're big fans of it. Chick-fil-A. Yes, Morning Star. You know what they have? The The... What are they called? They're like hashtag French fries. <laughs> what are they? You have a Chick Fil A, Ali, in the UK? I don't think oh so. My I have a gosh. feeling I opened in Reading and got kicked out because of their LGBTQT stance. Oh, oh. Well, they're they're Mormon. They're a Mormon company, so I don't know what that has to do with it all, or what the politics are, or anything. But, but the Chick Fil A around here. Monday through Saturday, because it closed on Sunday, is packed, like cars, in two lanes, cars wrapped around the building. It's crazy. That God's food, Morningstar calls it. That's funny. <laughs> um, not Mormon Church of Christ. Isn't it the same? Church of Christ no. of Latter-day Saints is Mormon. That's, that's, I have a Mormon friend. Mormon? I'm pretty sure it's the same thing. Yeah. Is that no, oh, that Church of Christ? Is. Church of Christ is something else, but I thought they were, I thought they were Latter Day Saints. Maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. I could be wrong. I'm always wrong. I've, I've, um, okay. I googled them in, in the UK, and yeah, they were, they um, closed their last oh. UK restaurant after the protests. Uh huh. Yeah. But I don't. Yeah, I don't think they, they weren't open very long. Hmm. Wow. So, they failed miserably at moving here from the side <laughs> Well, maybe they'll try someplace else. I'm sure they will. That's the way the world is. Yeah. All right. Anyway, <laughs> let's let's head into our final 25 minutes. And we'll keep an eye on the chat. And we'll check with you guys back in 25 minutes. Okay. Uh, let's see. Do you want cat or dog, Allie? <gasps> What did you have last time? I had the hands. I just had the woman oh. right here. Mm. Cat. Cat. Okay. See you guys in a 25. Bye-bye.
Okay, we're back. Now that's situated here. Okay, let's see what happened here. Keep writing, almost done, just as there were program is this notebook. Oh, I don't, we use um, StreamYard. I use StreamYard, if that's what you're asking. I don't know if that's what you're asking. Let me move back over to the other computer. I'm so excited to have a big monitor now to look at for my aging eyes. It's been great. Um, oh, Lucy Good joined us. Thanks, Lucy. Good to see you. Um, unfortunately, we're at the end of our writing now, so we hope you got some writing in. Tell us how you did, everyone. What's going on? How'd you do, Allie? <clears throat> Um, sorry, I was just trying to read all the messages. I know. <laughs> it's so fun no, to keep up with the chat. Yeah. 553. Five, 553. Five, awesome. Oh, my gosh. You're moving along on Project X. So you yeah, were able to withhold like yourself from doing any of the um, rabbit hole research? You just put placeholders in? Yeah. Yeah, so far. Oh, good. I, um, I've got to make up for yesterday because I didn't get anything done yesterday. So, and this weekend. And this weekend. Yeah, yeah. we, you and I write um, on Sundays too. So you're not going to be able to write on Sunday, or yeah. Aww. You could have your child on and put them on the computer and have them just type away and join us. Check in with us. Let us help you babysit for a few minutes <laughs> across <laughs> a pond by Zoom call. Yeah. He, he would love to sit and, and type on my on my keyboard. Yeah. He would Good. he'd love that. My um my aunt lives in Phoenix and she used to back this is back, you know, several years now, when webkins were big. I don't know if you guys know webkins, but webkins were little stuffed animals you would buy that would have a code and you would go online and register your little animal and there'd be all kinds of games and stuff to play on webkins oh, cool. and um and so she would connect via um what's the thing that was before zoom um microsoft has that i forget the name of it skype? but it, skype yes <laughs> i know it started with an s um she would skype them and they would play together because they could connect on the same game and see each other and and do all, or, or maybe she saw his screen or something i forget how it all worked but she loved to do that and that was you know even though we live so far away she was able to keep in touch with them and stuff and yeah. you know and get to know them so anyway but i don't know i mean you don't have you could zoom with me. I'll put them on a game and I'll, I'll talk to them. I'll keep them company. I'll try and get them to eat orange carrots. Um, <laughs> Greg Inc. did another one to two pages of editing, wrote 100 words. That's yeah, awesome. Good job. Awesome, awesome. Uh, everyone's doing really well today. How did you get on, Kristen? So I am up to page, let me see here, page 110 of 220. So. <gasps> Yeah. So interesting, though. I mean, I can't stop myself from making changes. I'm not making changes to the plot, but changes to wording. Like I'm reading it through and realizing I could have said that better. Or so I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing that at this point. Which point are you at? Well, I mean, I've had it edited. So it's just, you know, I had it developmentally edited and I went through and did all the things. And I'm going through her comments as I go. And I'm, you know, looking at sentence structure and things like that. And I've accepted her things. And as I'm going through reading for her things, I'm also seeing, you know. Yeah, you're totally allowed to do that after developmental editing. Okay, good. Because she, yeah, yeah, yeah. she does do a second round of editing um, once I'm done with this round. And she, yeah. she has me track all my changes so she can see and go right to where I've made changes. But I'm going through this thinking, I hope she realizes I've been making a lot of changes <laughs> and not, and it's not changing the story, not anything like that. I'm just changing, yeah. you know, how I think this would sound better this way, or this sentence moved up here in the paragraph would sound better and flow better. Um, I'm adding a little more description. I'm adding, you know, yeah. uh, things. And it's kind of interesting because I wrote this back in November, maybe a little into December. I was pretty much done by the end of the year. Um, and I sent it off to her on January 10th and I, I can see like, you know, it's interesting to see now 
like even the few months my writing has changed and I could see, I should have written that better. I could have done this better. I could have, you know, one of the things that I noticed I did a lot in this is I had she did da 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 she did da 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 she did da 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 Every paragraph has she in it yeah. all the time. So, um, and it's funny because uh, I think it's pro writing aid. Um, there's this thing where if you, uh, when it goes and checks your work, it says, you know, it gives you like a warning. You've, you've used I more than three times in this paragraph to start a sentence. Are you sure you want to do that? Have you noticed pre -write, pro writing oh. aid does that? Um, no, I haven't found that one. Maybe you don't do that then, but apparently it's something that I do. And so um, so anyway, it's something I've become aware of. And so now as I'm reading through this other, you know, book, editing through it, I'm like, oh my gosh, I do that all the time. Like, you know, every sentence starting with she or he or I, you know, would have been I in first person. But anyway, yeah. but that's, you know, part of the learning. So I'm glad yeah. I've learned that about myself. Um, question vellum users easy to include some outside graphics to the manuscript um i mean i've seen vellum users include maps and things like that but i don't know i haven't tried it so it will be interesting then i know morningstar did her um did her thing through vellum um formatting for her book through vellum i can't wait to format i'm like salivating wanting to get into it but yeah uh, will be interesting. We'll have to do a whole other series on that. I don't know when yeah. I'll do that at the rate I'm going with editing. Jeez. Like the other books I'll edit it. I want to change it all around. I added in a whole new two chapters. It's like, I don't think I'll ever be done. Um, let's see. You will be done. I will be done. I will be. You this will. is the goal. This is my journey. Yeah. I will be done. Thy will be done. <laughs> That's what Catholics say. <laughs> Um, yeah, Vellum was, I, I purchased Vellum as a Christmas gift, so I think that was a really good, um, oh, you. you know, it was a one-time thing, and then you can use it, yeah, yeah. not like, you know, use it forever and ever, so I'm looking forward to it. Um, yeah, so how's anyone else doing? Any plans to write this weekend? I know, Allie, you'll be, you'll be doing lots of coloring with your little one. I'll be mummying. You'll be mummying. Do you have color crayons and stuff like that? Yeah, but yeah. he can't have them forever. They they were saying that must be given to him and then taken away when the activity is finished because he likes to decorate. Oh, I everything. know. The walls and yeah, yeah. The fish tanks, <laughs> the walls, <laughs> the doors, the fish tanks. We used to have even yeah. these um, color crayons for um, for the bath so you could mm. paint, you know, right on the walls oh, and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Saving up for vellum and pro writing aid. Yep. And they have specials sometimes. So if any of us see any specials, you know, send the links. Uh, everyone wants to know what Greg Inc. writes. Let us know. Also, Lucy. Uh, I think, Lucy, if you're still with us, let us know what you're writing. Lucy Good. Yes. Um, yeah, let us know. We were at the end here, but I mean, if everyone wants to write somewhere, we could do maybe another... 15, 20 minute writing. Does anyone want to keep writing? I know it's Friday night. What about you, Ali? You want to keep writing? Oh, I can keep going. Okay. And I'm like deathly low on battery, so I better do something Ooh. about that. Yeah, I yeah. had to switch everything around. Question is, what do I switch? Let me go back. I'm going to, I don't know. I'm at a loss. <laughs> okay, you want to keep writing? We can go to a writing sprint. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, let's do another, what do you think? 15, 20 minutes? What do you want? I'll do 20. You want to do 20? Let's do a 20. Okay. We'll do a 20 and then it'll be dinner time. So it'll work out well. Okay. All right, everyone. Sounds good. And then tell us, let's see, Greg Inc., Lucy Good, Historical Fiction, Greg Inc., Sci-Fi. That's awesome. Thanks, Easy Graphics. Nice to see you. Yeah, Bye. let's do another 20. Check in with us. Stay with yes. us if you want. Do some more writing editing yep. whatever you're working on and we'll see you guys in 20. See you in 20. Okay.
Okay, we're back. Allie, let me know how you did. Everyone else, let us know how you did as well. This has been great to write on Friday afternoon. I like this, actually. I like writing Saturdays, too. And Allie, let me add you back to the stream. There you go. <laughs> Uh, hello. So much to manage. Okay. Hello. Uh, how'd you do? Uh, not that great. Two nine four. It's okay. I, I mean, what'd you get for the day? You're over a thousand. About a thousand. It's good. Um, I will let you know in just a sec. Got my own sixteen eight zero five. Oh yeah. One thousand one hundred and seven. There you go. Perfect. It's a good send off for the weekend. Yeah. Yeah. I actually like writing Friday afternoons. It's kind of nice, a good, you know, productive before the weekend kind of thing. Yeah. It's not that bad. I like our Saturday mornings too, though. Um, so, yeah, everyone else tell us how you did in the sprint. We were talking about um, Goodwill. Do they have Goodwills? They have Goodwills over in the UK, right? It's international. Like you give your junk to Goodwill and other people buy the junk. <laughs> I don't know if we actually have Goodwill. We have a huge number of different charity shops. Oh, charity shops. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good um, way to put it. Yeah. I don't know if there, if any of them are Goodwill. We have uh, Salvation Army and we have Oxfam mm -hmm. and a, so, lots mm -hmm. of our like major charities have secondhand shops. Ah, interesting. Yeah, you could use um, you could use Salvation Army too. That's a good one because that's internationally known. Especially if you think your books can be sold around the world, all that fun stuff. Yeah. Apparently, cool. there is no goodwill in the UK. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, interesting. I know uh, there was a there was a expose on Goodwill a few years back, and I think they were saying you know they actually make quite a bit of money because people get rid of things that are actually worth value and yeah. uh, they do all kinds of interesting stuff. Um, Lucy got 250 words in the last sprint, so that's good. Yeah, good job. Let us know how you did. I got up to, I think I'm up to page 114. Yep, 114 of 220, so. so that's good. I'll keep plugging away at it, see how, see how it goes by the end of the weekend. Yeah. Yay. Okay. So we're sending you off for the weekend of fun as a mommy. That will be, <laughs> that will be exciting. I know. You'll be fun. You'll make it. You'll survive. You'll survive. I'm sure it won't be as bad as I think it will. Yeah. You're going to be fine. Just have patience. Remember to breathe. Self-care is important. You know, just snuggles. Mm, sn lots snuggles of snuggles. Yes. Yes. Lots of snuggles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This too shall pass. Maybe some chocolate. Yeah, chocolate. Gin, you've got your gin, your nighttime Imagine. gin cap. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're going to be fun. Weekend of fun, yeah. as Morningstar says. Yes, yes. We'll all survive the weekend. I can't believe it's the end of March. I I cannot believe it. No, that's wrong. That comes. That comes I know. Wrong. I, it's just one quarter of the year is done, and that's just oh, blowing gosh. me away. Because and our clocks change this weekend. Oh, yours too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we'll have to see what our time is next week. You said we're writing oh, on Monday. We'll, so yeah, we'll be back okay. to. Well, I'll be back to what it was before your clocks changed, and okay. you won't move at all. Okay, so. so we'll be back to writing Monday, according to. Uh, According yeah. to Ali. So watch the notifications for our next scheduled one. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, I hope you all enjoyed the writing. Got lots done during our sprint this afternoon. I did. Yes. Ali did. Y'all did. Join the pain, Ali says. Yes. Very much. <laughs> Losing my you'll, hour. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. <laughs> what does that mean? So let's see. Are you forward going forward? Just like we yeah, did? Yeah. You spring forward? Yeah. So your your child loses an hour then. Bye, Greg Inc. Thanks for joining us. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope to catch us again oh, sometime. Yeah. Someone loses. Uh, to be honest, this weekend I feel sorry for my husband because he's working fifteen hour days, two days in a row, and he loses an hour of sleep in between those. So yeah, is, he's gonna be a little grumpy. Yeah. 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 Have a good weekend, everyone. Lucy saying goodbye. Yeah. I'm glad you're here with us, Lucy. 
Uh, Morning Star, glad you were here. I think Greg Ink is in South South Africa, I believe. Wow. Yeah, oh. if he's if he's the same person I was thinking of, that's kind of neat. Um, yeah, everyone have a great weekend. Ali, keep have in awesome touch. Weekends. You can yeah. text me over Facebook, and yeah, if you need if I you will. need en encouraging words, we'll keep you moral going. Moral support. Yes, moral support. <laughs> All righty, so, see you guys. Have, have a good weekend. weekend. Thanks for joining. Bye. Bye. Oh, Ireland, Gregging Bye. says. Oh, he's in your neck of the woods. Why was I thinking South Africa? Sorry, Greg. But yeah, glad to know you're in oh, Ireland. Nice. That's cool. Yeah. 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 We talk about Ireland a lot, but <laughs> your ears probably don't ring when we do that. <laughs> so anyway, well, good. Awesome. Okay, guys, have a good weekend. We'll see ya. Bye. Bye. Back on Monday. <laughs>